Hey everybody, welcome to this episode of TXGameHunters.com. Today we're going to be just northeast of Corpus Christi at a little 300 acre ranch. It's a low fence ranch and they have some amazing whitetail there. I mean, for a low fence ranch, this place is awesome. Uh, there's actually a 3,000 acre ranch on the left of it, 3,000 acre ranch on the right of it, and it's a little track in between them. And both ranches on, on both sides, they are not hunting ranches. They're just sort of family owned and operated ranches and the pressure super low. They really don't feed them anything, so it's just all natural. So. When a friend of ours purchased this ranch, he uh, he started throwing corn out there, and the deer started going crazy for it. So that's where we're headed out today. We're not hunting deer; it's not whitetail season yet. We still got about a month for that, but he's preparing for whitetail season uh, coming up soon. And and he's noticed in the last couple of weeks on his cameras that he's got some massive hogs coming in and terrorizing the deer right before dark. I mean, they're coming in and literally chasing the deer off the feeders so they can eat, which is definitely not not good, no bueno. So uh, our goal is to go out there today, take care of uh, a little bit of his hog problems, get a few less hogs off this, off this ranch and uh, get some bacon on the ground. So stay tuned, we'll be there in a few hours, but I'll see you in a few minutes. Hey everybody, welcome back to TXGameHunters.com. We're here with our good friend Thomas Cole. We're out here at Seven Oaks Landing Cattle. We're finally here. We're set up in this awesome blind, which I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. It's got comfortable uh, swivel chairs, awesome windows, awesome gun rests, insulated. This thing is, this thing is definitely awesome. But anyway, we are set up here right in the middle of two feeders. We got the feeder on the right, which is about 182 yards. The feeder on the left, which is about, what did it shoot, 160? Yeah. About a, the laser shot at about 160 yards. Little far shots for our 223, but we can definitely, there's nothing that the ATN X site can't handle with the ballistic calculation. Because we are, we are zeroed in at 100 yards on it, so 182 yards won't be that much of a difference, but it will compensate for it. All right, here is blind one, or feeder one which is set up at about 182 yards. We corn the entire road already with the Polaris, 40 pound bags all up and down. Uh, so this is ready to go. This is where the hogs have been coming out first. And uh, they've been hitting it right before dark and they've been hitting the second feeder right after that. And then the second feeder right here is 162 yards right down this little clearing and it's a pretty cool looking shot. So that's our setup. That's where we're set to go. So we're going to wait here now and uh, see when the hogs show up. All right, so now that we've got our distance to the feeders, uh, we got our ATN X Site 2 5x20 that we're using. Uh, we're zeroed in at 100 yards and we have the ballistic calculation set up. So we got our we got our ammunition all loaded into the X site, all the information. So we're going to set our distance at, and it's by feet, so 182 yards times 3 is 5, what was it, 540? 546. 546. And to this number 21 
here which was 162 yards is 486. All right. All right. So we're all good to go on our ballistic calculation. All we're waiting on is the hogs. Oh, and to load the round. Now we're ready. He didn't run off real fast. Uh -uh. There he is. He's bleeding. You see his whole bottom hanging out? He's got a on. That's with me. Hug down, baby! Woo! You got him? Woo! It's a big motherfucker! I'm <laughs> down, baby! Woo! God damn. Look at the size of the balls! Hog down. There's a gut shot from our follow up, and when we were just unloading on him when he started to run away. Alright, let's drag this son of a bitch out. Take both of us. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> Do we have a rope? No. <laughs> that would be easy, right? Woo! Alright everybody, welcome back. We finally chased him down. And as you see from the uh, rifle footage off the scope, he didn't go down easily. Uh, 
my original shot that we thought that maybe missed or was off the mark was actually dead on right under the ear and it didn't drop them. We chased them down in the Polaris. I'd say probably we came around and he was what, maybe 50 yards? About 50. About and, 50. Uh, he was just standing in the middle of this little road just looking at us like he was about to charge us. We both got out our rifles. Uh, and uh, we got him. We uh, laid him out heat with the 308 from our camera guy here. And uh, he got him a, a little semi gut shot on him because it was a quick shot, but enough to slow him down. But he took off. And I took another shot right here in the ribs. And then another one on the other side through the head while he was running. And that's what dropped him. Let's see, let's see that rib shot again. Here's the rib Point shot. Point that out. There Here's you the... go. And then if you bring your camera around to the other side, you can see there's my first shot right where it was supposed to be. It's right, right, right below the ear. And he didn't drop. That 223 round did almost nothing to this guy. This guy is a beast. Okay. everybody welcome back we finally got this big monster loaded up these cutters on this guy is freaking huge uh, but we got this guy loaded up thank you for joining us today it was such an amazing time to come out here to seven oaks landing cattle as you can see they got some giant boars out here uh, what you guys did not see on film we were actually loading him up going back around to come back over here and we swung Back by the road, back by the feeder where we were just at, at the very beginning of the road, which is a 400, and, like 400, 420 yard shot, there was another massive boar at that feeder. I set the ballistic calculator to go, and uh, it looked, and I took the shot, it looked like we hit him solid in the head again, just like this guy, and he took off, but it was almost dark at that point, and unfortunately, I do apologize, I forgot to hit record on the, uh, on the X site, so you guys didn't get to see that shot. Well, he took off. It's probably going to be a dead hog somewhere. Coyotes, vultures, and everything will get him pretty quick. But I think we did a good job of helping uh, the owner out here get at least a few hogs taken care of and uh, so they can stop tormenting the deer. As you guys saw by the footage today, had some amazing animals out here. Uh, tons of turkey, tons of deer. It was just an awesome experience. Uh, thank you, Mr. Thomas, for coming out here. Thank you. It was such oh, a God. such a pleasure. Uh, we're gonna get this hog skinned up, clean, quartered up, so we can get on out of here. The mosquitoes are starting to get pretty bad. So, thank you guys for watching. Join us here back next time. Until then, I'm Joseph Truesdale. This is TXGameHunters.com.